Okay, this is a simple tutorial on how to make a wood grain out of nothing. Um, first thing to do basically is to set your color swatches. I uh, want to set this one to a light gray and the background to a dark gray. So. Just to about 75% for the top and about 25% for the bottom. There we go. And then fill this layer with either one. Go up to filter, sketch, halftone pattern. And if we pick the line pattern, then we get some nice straight lines here. And I want to um, depending on the size of your project, will determine what size lines you want to pick. Three is usually pretty good. You know, if I s set the contrast all the way to zero. You see, we get softer transitions between the lines and I like a little bit more contrast not stark divisions um, slightly slightly softened on the edges so somewhere around 30 35 that'd be good okay um, the next step is to go back to filter, distort, wave. And this is how we're going to do the uh, grain pattern. Um, this takes a lot of experimentation on your best days. And this is one of the worst filters in Photoshop because there's no preview. Uh, you can't enlarge this to see details at all, so you just have to guess. Now on a Mac, if you hold down the control key and scroll wheel up, you can zoom in a little bit better to see what you're doing. Uh, set these down to about three. Uh, set the scale, vertical scale on this one. Oh, sorry. Uh, way down. And run the amplitudes up. Okay. Okay, that's not too bad. And I want to wrap around. There we go. Okay. We have a wood grain. Uh, hold the control key down on a Mac and scroll well back down and get back to normal size. And we have a pretty decent wood pattern here. Okay. Actually, I'm going to tap the F key to bring this down to full screen mode and get rid of the ruler. Command R. There we go. Okay, not bad. Alright, let's colorize this. Um, in CS4, you can go up to adjustments here and pick the gradient map. Otherwise, hold down the Option key and click on this Adjustments and select Gradient Map from here. And we'll just pick our foreground and background colors. For this we need a tan. Uh, light tan. It's pretty good. And for the dark we need a brown.
and depending on what kind of wood you're trying to emulate will determine how you pick your colors. That's too pink. That's kind of like balsa wood. Alright, not too bad. Okay. I want to clip this adjustment layer to the visibility or the transparency of this layer. Rotate this, transform, rotate counterclockwise 90 degrees. Alright, and we'll just move this over. Then command option till you get the move with copy cursor and click and drag over to duplicate this. All right. Center these up. Uh, hold down the shift key and click on each one of these layers and drag them over until they're centered up. Okay. Alright. Uh, a little bit of laying up here. Let's a marquee from this corner down to about this corner and click on the mask icon well make sure this is selected and click on the mask icon here then we'll double click on this layer out here and call up the layer styles you can throw on a bevel and emboss we want uh, chisel hard we want size. And we're going to make this look mm, kind of like it's about mm, a quarter inch or so thick. Uh, I want this light to go from the upper right to the lower left. I want um, to change this to hard light, change the color to a dark gray. Mm, about there. Uh, change this to hard light. Wonderful. And I want a little groove along the edge inside here, so I'm going to activate the contour click on this and gonna add some corners and make a little groove a couple of little grooves okay and I'm going to move this to just inside the bevel. Alright, let's go back to the bevel and make it deeper. There we go. Alright. Let's change the altitude of the light a little bit. I'm going to click in here, hold the command key down, and drag it on up. Uh, 40 degrees looks pretty good. And put a drop shadow. So um, um, take this off the wall a little bit. OK. 
There you go. Uh, plaque ready to go. 